trees. Here are my trees. My different kinds of trees. And my vines on my wall. Got some ballasting done on the track. Okay, here are the different versions of trees I do use here, that I make. Um, Alrighty, here's first version here, this guy right here. This is with um, super tree branches glued into a dowel. This next tree here is a model tree this is copied off of a boomer tree. This guy here, and this is done with all wire, um, static grass, and uh, I use uh, sawdust on the trunk, trunk, trunk te texture. Now, with this third one here, I still have to add more branches to it, but this is. Uh, caspia limbs, or or caspia, you buy it at a at a, a um, craft store for flower arrangements, and I cut the pieces again using a dowel as the trunk, I drill the holes, put them in, and then I add um, like really um, fine foam or um, sawdust. And um, like really small um, uh, static grass. Okay, now this here is number number four. This is just a, s a super tree that I made um, using the, the the super tree branches here, painting it, and then sp sprinkling on uh, super leaves here. I also may add that uh, these limbs have super, super leaves on them too. For this here is a another boomer tree with super leaves. This is um, um, more of a uh, um, dis deciduous tree, uh, I guess a, a maple or an oak or hardwood tree. This next one here, this guy right here, is peppergrass limbs, which which I've been having a hard time fi finding these. These I made a, a while ago. I haven't been able to find this peppergrass again um, in uh, craft stores and uh, for floral arrangements. Uh, the same place where the where we you get this the caspia for that I did with those pines. Uh, this is pepper grass here and it looks like you know what I mean the the leaves are the, the um they're a little big but it looks good once you paint everything and then of course this right here this very last one I have um this is a woodland scenic uh, a, a, a tree um um with you know, in, instead of putting on the foam, I put on super tree branches with super leaves on that one there. And these are all the trees I pretty much use. Coming back here, this is a pepper grass tree here. This is them all in a uh, in a display here in my uh, 
here. These are super trees, just uh, super trees with the, with the super leaves, super bushes. And now this here is another pepper or pepper grass tree here. This guy right here is I use the the dowel and the, the super tree limbs. That's one of those guys. Here is a the uh, the caspia leaf tree here. here. Uh, as I head down here, we got some some boomer trees here, boomer pines. Another boomer pine here. This here is also um, the dowel with the super uh, super limbs or super tree limbs um, glued into them. More super trees. This here is a pepper grass tree. This is a, a super limb tree here. The, the ones I use, the, the, the super tree limbs. I still have to paint this one a little bit. Here is another pepper grass tree. Uh, those are super trees. There's another pepper grass tree here, pepper grass tree here. And this right here is a caspia limb tree here. Okay. And this guy I got shoved over here is a is one. He's not done yet. I still gotta finish putting on the leaves, but I just put him here for, for looks. This is a um a, a boomer hardwood. And then I got two uh caspia trees right here with the um foam with the different color foams on them. Foams and uh Static grasses. Okay. Trees. And of course, here's the uh, the boomer bushes here. Okay, I got the. This is all ground up leaves, as you see here stones and ground up leaves and I got stones and, and all the downed uh, limbs and trunks are all pieces of roots that I dug up and of course I have a uh, very fine foam here woodland scenics to to represent moss on the wall and everything But there you have my trees that I use.